Well, good morning, Pamela. It's great to have you on. It's fantastic to have you back in Australia for a very brief time launching your book, Sex Life. It's lovely to be back. Now, being part back in Australia, I mean, you've done lots of television shows, you've talked about this book. What is behind it? Because it's a pretty raunchy heading, really. Well, I wanted to write a book that really illustrated the diversity of sexuality. And it's it's lots of testimonies from men and women, hundreds of them, about sexuality throughout their lifespan. I wanted to show, A, that it's an ongoing process. That you don't just retire your pelvis when you turn 45. <laughs> you, you can go on and be sexual till the day you die. That it begins before we're even born this process of sexuality. And I've given lots of tips for, you know, the things that people are worried about. I mean, they're worried, am I normal? Am I having the normal amount of sex that I should be having? Things like that, that I've really addressed those and said, look, really, um, there's no such thing as normal. We really need to understand, we need to be kinder, less judgmental about ourselves and, and others. Well, sex is always one of those topics we don't really like to talk about. I mean, do, we th do you think that we need to be more honest and open with our partners and also our girlfriends? Because we always pretend we're having a, a great time in the bedroom, don't we? We're always saying everything's good in our end of the world. There's a lot of pressure um, when we're sitting talking with our friends. That's a really different conversation. Um, most of us aren't purely honest about our sexuality when we're doing that so we have to just take it all with a bit of a grain of salt but it's great to have fun and have a fun chat about sex but we do need to be able to be open with our partners and learn to ask for what we truly need do it in a non-judgmental non-blaming way and try to find a way to have really important conversations that become more and more important the longer we know each other now being a celebrity as you are i mean you're you're a doctor you're you're a therapist you've worked in acting you've been a comedian you're married to billy Connolly. i mean do people kind of say pamela what's your sex life um i'm lucky i have a a, a very broad-minded understanding husband um we spend a bit of time apart because we we work in different parts of the world, but we have a very uh, good connection. And, um, yeah, it's worked out pretty well. We've been together 30 years now. So, wow. yeah. Not only do you have a fantastic husband, but you've brought up children as well. So sometimes that kind of dims things off, people say. Well, we have five children. Um, and I have actually addressed the issue in the book. I mean, it's not easy to find private time for sexuality when you've got young children, especially. And then young people uh, get very judgmental uh, if they suspect that you're being sexual later on in life. And so um, I think that, you know, older people deserve our respect, not our, our, our judgment. They deserve to have privacy for sex that they need. I've also addressed people with disabilities and illness, the things that can happen as you travel through life, that um, there's, there's there, there are changes, but you know, we deserve to have the comfort and the fun and the pleasure of sex throughout our entire lives. Well, one last thing, because I know you're on a whirlwind tour all around Australia and the world, so one last question, and thank you for joining us on Women's Words. Is it true that celebrities are known for their starfish-style sex, where they just lie there and don't have to try hard because they're so good-looking? Oh, well, I've never even heard that. I, I can't... I can't imagine that if you're married to Johnny Depp, you're not going to pull out all the stops. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but if you're Johnny Depp. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe he just lies, lies back and thinks of England. I doubt it, though. <laughs> I doubt it. Well, there you go. We have all the latest information. It's a great book. It's just, of course, um, arrived on bookshelves here in Australia. It's called Sex Life by Dr. Pamela Stevenson Conley. And it's a fantastic look at how you, too, are normal in life and in the sex world. So thank you so much for joining us, Pamela. Good luck with your tour. And we look forward to this being another international bestseller for you. Thank you very much.